لل اس 2 صوره 2 النور which is a sura while that 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 discusses and uh, human relationships mm. one relationship between him between male and female mm. as discussed in detail their relationship and relationship of families relationship of of social relations like uh, visiting one another mm. you go to visit somebody else when can you go and visit other people what can you and how how do you approach people's privacy when you come to their houses you have to knock and ask them to permit you to enter and you don't insist if nobody answers the door you go and come back later so it talks about this and the three times that you should not visit people usually uh the time he says that the time that usually people did dress casually because they are and expect visitors at the time in their in their homes in qabl salat al fajr if a fajr prayer we don't visit people <laughs> uh, and uh, we don't visit people on the day of the of the zuhur <clears throat> usually especially in hot countries after zuhur is very hot everybody stays home they take a nap which is the goal qailula <laughs> so you don't visit people at that time too <laughs> and uh, on bad salat al isha and after isha prayer because the young people go home uh, at the end of the day they go home and, and take some rest uh, so you have the etiquette of visiting these are the things that you have to keep in mind and this is that uh, a, a scholar he, he was he was after the he came home and then he had a knock at the door he said who's there he said so and so he said no 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 mm. i must be shaitan <laughs> he said <"What?" laughs> then no he said that the god said that visit people and <laughs> so only shaitan would visit <laughs> uh, <laughs> so so this is what is about that <laughs> and the issues of of marriage and relationship extra marital relationship and what and the, and the sharia uh, talks about that so those are all those are ex, uh, explained in detail in the surah so those are the main themes it's a very important surah and also it talks about you know, some before islam people have restrictions where you can eat where you cannot eat you can eat at your aunt's house you can eat at this or he has abolished all of that you can eat everywhere mm. and you can eat together or, or individually even though eating together you know, like it's kind of more encouraged by sunnah instead of just eat by yourself because if you are usually if you are alone she that joins you mm-hmm. and the more hands in a in a in a container the more blessing it is so but yeah but this is permitted to eat alone or if you're in a group